was great working with Wandsworth Council. They gave myself and my team a huge amount of autonomy to work with Lendleys and AHMM to get the school buildings, fabulous resources that we've got here and that you can see behind me now. They loved modern architecture, which was very unusual for head teachers. In the very early stages, became very close to them. They kept driving innovation into the design, and you know, like all good projects, I think they were the key part of it. The main challenge in the project was trying to build a school around an existing school with, with 2,000 students in there. We always had to make sure we did demolitions and piling in summer holidays to make sure it wasn't disturbing the students. And that way each year we had new buildings available to the students till it was finally completed last year. It's an 11 acre site. There are eight buildings, six of those are new, four concrete frame buildings, uh, two steel clad buildings being our performing arts building and the sports hall. The main challenge for us was to to design a building which was lean and efficient and on budget, very importantly, and that would give the architects the budget for which they could actually do what they want to do. It gives them a platform for which to shine. Um, Bureau Happold really helped us when it came to designing the pavilion buildings. Um, we were always interested in using exposed concrete um, in most of the classrooms, so that made it an easy choice straight away, but it was really the engineering of that that became quite important. The, the main feature of the building, the thing everyone notices, are these faceted concrete panels. They, these really are huge pieces of engineering. They're about 650 millimetres deep. And some of them are very complex in the formwork, they're L-shaped. It always amazed us the first time we went on site and saw the depth and the shadows that it created. And to me that was you know, a real tribute to engineering, contractor and architects all working together. The weight of the heavy precast facades are all taken by themselves in a stack system down to ground that allows the, uh, the actual structural frame and the amount of material which goes into that structural frame to be minimised. The buildings are also efficient from an energy efficient point of view. We have exposed concrete soffits throughout the buildings so we can utilise the thermal mass of the buildings to help regulate the temperature in the, within the buildings, reducing energy usage. At the end of each corridor or the entrance to the buildings there's always a sort of slightly different architectural moment so that the entrances are always double height and have this tiled pool portal around them. At the end of each corridor there's either a double height space or a breakout space or a big window or a picture window into the landscape. One of the anxieties I think for the staff were the large glass panels so there's a, a great deal of transparency as you go around the building. However very quickly everybody agreed that, that this was a great improvement and that it allowed passive supervision and it also allowed the light to flow and views outside to the beautiful surroundings. We've worked with HMM on a number of projects over the last few years. Personally I've worked with them several times over the last 10 years and their way they work in a collaborative manner fits very well with how, how we like to work. We've worked a lot with Bureau Happold over the years and I think always their search for more inventive and innovative solutions is, is something that is, is just clear from the building itself. If I were to describe Belmont School to someone who hadn't seen it, I would definitely describe it as very professional, spacious and versatile. I'd definitely describe it as bold, imaginative and beautiful. I would say from the sheer scale of it is immense and impressive. It's the totality of the scheme uh, as well as individual moments in the scheme. And since the buildings have been completed, we have massively increased community involvement and community access. So that's, a, that's something we're really proud of.